Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about my day one progression on the Righteous Fire Chieftain. Sorry about that. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what we've accomplished. So we died one time to like heavy chaos damage in a red map that we evolved. Uh, I've currently played now for about 13 hours. Did a little bit of the league mechanic. The league mechanic's a little tricky to learn to craft with, so I haven't really had too much success with that yet. Although I do like the random stuff that is kind of dropping. I'll be honest, I haven't really, I haven't really went out of my way to do the league mechanic. I kind of just click it and sort of just go. I feel like a lot of us are kind of like that, but that's because we're super impatient at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to jump into a T13 corrupted map here. This boss is really scary. We might die because it is a, a chaos damage boss and we have like no chaos res. So uh, I'm just going to hit uh, oh, 50 percent of non chaos damage. Or if th this is uh, spooky. This is very spooky. So let's see what happens. Now I'm currently on the Atlas I showed in my YouTube video. So you can see literally like everything that I would have. So I'm making my currency primarily, honestly, from Ritual. Ritual's not even on my Atlas, but that's where I made most of my currency. Um, other than that, Expedition is definitely a big one. Kuyan Gamble's right, it's pretty big. So with that being said, I'm gonna just flash my gear, talk about it, go around the map. I picked this up early in the campaign. Basically, it has 22 fire multi, and I crafted fire damage. It's pretty good. Over here in my helmet, it's basically just life and resistance. I want to swap this to an Elder Helm. Essence of Horror is kind of expensive, so I'll probably end up harvest crafting. Remember, all of this stuff you can find on my website, written guide, etc. Uh, pretty much just a stat amulet. Nothing really crazy here. I'd like to get damage over time multiplier and or plus one gems. Rise of the Phoenix, fantastic pickup. Gives us really high max res. We're currently running on 88 max res. Once our purity of fire hits 20, I'm going to go ahead and spec this node here along with the aura effect here, and that rounds us to 90 max all res, so that'll be pretty cool. Barracks Respite is a nice way for us to achieve good clear, specifically for Expedition. Later on, I will drop this for Elemental Proliferation. I'm using a Kikizuru since overall my gear is pretty bad, and Kikizuru helps with, for example, uh, map mods. So this is Enfeeble. This is reducing the effect of Enfeeble, effectively making me do... Not making me do more damage, but Enfeeble makes me do less, so it kind of equalizes. The regeneration on Kikizuru is fantastic, so I'm sitting at 1830. Over here, gloves, pretty much life regeneration rate, fire chaos with life. A really poopy bell. I'm not on Immortal Flesh yet because I'm trying to get more chaos res. That's the primary reason. And then my boots, I don't really know what's going on with them. They're item level 35. We're going to figure it out. Let's go ahead and talk about links real fast. We got Frost Blink, Steel Skin, Skitterbot. That's going right there. You should just use Molten Shell. Uh, Fire Trap, Trap and Mind, Swift Affliction, Life Tap, Life Tap, Punishment, Infernal Cry, Determination, Blood Rage, Purity of Fire, Life Tap, Swift Affliction, Increased Area of Effect, Burning Damage, Elemental Focus, Righteous Fire, and then Faster Attacks, Life Tap, Shield Charge, Momentum. Remember that when you want to drop Purity of Elements, you want to make sure you have your Uber Lab completed. The reason you want Uber Lab completed specifically is so that you can actually make use of the maximum fire res applying to your other resistances as well. I'd say one of the big goals for here is getting an Elder Helmet and the Cloak of Flame. Cloak of Flame will provide some much needed defenses uh, for the build, specifically for this red map content. And then the Elder Helm will provide really nice damage because we're basically on a four link fire trap and it's not really that amazing. As for my six link, I typically go for the Divination card, Emperor of Purity. Emperor of Purity is a uh, seven stack divination card that you can turn in for a holy chainmail base, and then you can buy an essence for like chaos resistance and slam it on, and that's like good to go. All right, here's the boss I was talking about that I'm a bit spooked on, so let's go ahead and see. This guy is, I'm pretty sure, a big chaos damage boss. I don't actually know his mechanics, so uh, yep. Oh, that hurt. Uh, that looks mad. Okay, good. Let's go back. Oh, that's bad, right? Okay, go back. Oh, that's bad again. Yo, he just spams that whole Lee. Okay, there's a bunch of coffins everywhere. Are the coffin's gonna... Oh, the coffin's AoE too? Oh, that's okay. He's dead. Is that gonna hit me? No. Okay. Awesome. I also have a second Atlas now that's basically full harvest. The reason I did this is because nobody had, like, life force for a reasonable price yesterday. But uh, I'm not really using it right now. Since I just make more money on my current atlas and then I'll just buy uh, harvest uh, purple stuff for reforge fire for my helmet. 
Okay, hit that flight is chaos as well. I want to be a little careful of that. Okay, we're just gonna interrogate. I did also find one uh, Veiled Orb. Um, we have done two Katarina so far from basically running Betrayal, and we got two shields, which aren't really worth anything, but we got one Veiled Chaos. Uh, I don't know the exact price on Veiled Chaos, but sadly it's not 100% drop rate, but it's still pretty nice. Where is my expedition? I also definitely want to drop my Ruby Flask here once we get that Purity of Fire level 20. I think I'm probably going to drop it for a Sulfur Flask, I'm thinking. Sulfur would give some nice increased damage and give us pretty good uh, regen. Oh, here we go. Got Danning, nice. Oh, 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 those are the mobs of the Giga Chaos, I think. Oh, extra chaos, yoink. I'll take some chaos orbs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do this expedition, and then I think we're going to call the video right there. All right, so this is pretty much how I do expedition. I take the big expedition boom node, which you can see on my uh, tree here. So that's basically this right here. And then I take this Kaboom Boom and I try to hit as many things as possible with it. So I'm just going to place it here. Now, <clears throat> from here, I just take it, uh, pay attention to this. As long as it doesn't say immunity to ignite or um, monsters cannot be ignited, I'm good. There's a chance you'll die, especially if you're stacking like bonus chaos mods, crit mods, overwhelm physical, etc. But, you know, right now we're kind of in the currency making stages of the build and an occasional death is going to happen. We're not playing hardcore, right? So now you go back in. If you want to do this strategy, you kind of need to make sure you're running a phasing flask. So that would be right here. Get your phasing, phasing flask. Phasing flask. There we go. And just run. There's an explode. So that explode, you can see that kind of just chain there. Pretty much cleared the majority of the expedition. This is one of the fantastic uses of the Barracks Respite Ring. Later on, I'll drop it. We'll have a lot of damage and we won't have to worry. Basically, if you see anything that's shocked on the floor, that was the Barracks proliferating the shock and the ignite to kill those bombs. This will happen even, it does not matter, your links on your gear because it's from the Ascendancy. So it's a very nice way to make <clears throat> pretty easy currency with Expedition. You get a logbook, you sell it. You get two yen currency, you gamble. You get ROG, you can sell it, or you can craft your own gear. You get the point. Holy, what is that mob? Some angry guys here. I really want to pivot into Cloak of Flame, mainly because so many of the modifiers are giving mobs giga damage, and mobs already just have big physical damage, so Cloak of Flame is going to be really nice here. I think I would even take a 5-link Cloak of Flame over the 6-link that I'm currently using just because of the defenses, to be honest. Actually, I guess we'll just finish up the video. Why not? Or the map. We're almost done anyway. Ooh, that's Tora. Tora is big chaos. We might die. Where is she? Okay, I think we actually sniped her with an ignite. A spot more Perfect. And oop, oop. That thing has super high physical damage with extra physical damage aura. All right, that was pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. Maybe we get an extra chaos orb off these guys. Oh, okay, so uh, let's see, Tora. So I'm gonna execute so I can get three star there. And then I don't know if I care about Vagan. I kind of need Corel back so I kicked him out. All right, that's pretty much gonna be about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you get stuck at any point in progression, 
feel free to check out the website FAQ. You can also come around and hang out on my stream at twitch.tv slash pox. I am kind of getting slammed with questions right now, but my chat can definitely help you out since a lot of us are also playing Righteous Fire. Catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And hope you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. See you guys later.